मैं है, है। Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for how far you've brought us. We love you with all our hearts. To you alone be all the glory. Thank you Holy Spirit for your presence. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. How many of you are excited to be in the house of the Lord? Uh, it's just a glorious time to, to be in God's presence. Uh, God continues to, to favor us. He continues to show us his loving kindness. And uh, we are grateful. We are grateful. And we thank God for the opportunity he's given us to serve him with all our hearts amen. amen well i want to take this opportunity to wish my wife a happy anniversary uh this this uh tuesday uh by the grace of god we'll be celebrating 13 years of god's faithfulness it's been 13 years uh, since we've been on this journey it's been a journey of faith and god has shown us nothing but his love, his mercies, his kindness uh, is just humbling. Uh, why don't you come? Come, let my wife come in. I just want to, you know, uh, she was my number one member. She was my first member. Amen. And I thank God for your life. Amen. Happy anniversary. Thank you, darling. Happy 13th. We are officially wow. teenagers. Amen. <laughs> Our marriage has hit teenage wood. Amen. We thank God. Do you have anything to say? I just want to thank God for his grace and mercy. He has shown us, I mean, his love and kindness. And um, when you hold on to God, when he becomes the third person in your union, um, he keeps you going. So we thank God for he has kept us going he has kept us going forward uh, with joy and has never failed us. Amen. And he'll continue. We pray that God will give, give us more grace. And thank you for being a wonderful husband um, to our kids. Uh, you're a great father. I mean, I couldn't have us. I could marry you again. Praise God. Yeah. If you ask me again, I will marry you again. So thank <laughs> We thank God for your life. Amen. I'm so grateful to God. Amen. You're a great gift to us as a family and to me personally and to the body of Christ. You are a blessing and a gift. Thank God for your life. Love you more and more and more with each year that passes by. Love you more. Continually we pray for God to just keep us in good health, perfect health until Jesus comes. Amen. Amen. Love you, darling. I love you. Oh. I have to give you a kiss before you go. You kind of, I love you. Happy 13th. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for his kindness. Uh, God has been good to us. Uh, he couldn't have given me a better wife. Uh, he's just giving me the best of the best. And I'm grateful. Amen. Amen. Well, are you ready for the word? Amen. All right. Uh, welcome to our third service for the day. Uh, we have two more. Uh, the last two more is uh, our next service is at uh, half six. And then our last service for the day is at half nine. Uh, remember, we are, we are streaming live from the UK. Uh, so all our services are UK time. Uh, officially today, uh, churches are permitted to go back uh, in the UK, but we have decided uh, as part of the leadership team to say there are still some few things we need to put in place before our members come back. So we are working very hard and uh, very soon we'll be announcing the dates where we'll be back in church so that we can all be in the presence of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, are you ready for the word? Okay, turn with me in your Bibles to the book of 
1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 13 to 15. The book of Timothy chapter 4, 1 Timothy chapter 4, from verse 13 to 15. I read, this is Paul speaking to Timothy. He said, till I come, give attention to reading, to exaltation, to doctrine. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the eldership. Take heed to yourself. Verse 15. Verse 15. It says, Meditate upon these things. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 15. Meditate on these things. Give yourselves, give yourself entirely to them, that your profiting may appear to all. And we are blessed by the reading of God's word. I'm continuing with my series that I have titled Give Yourself Holy. Amen. Give Yourself Holy, and this is part five. Like I said, five weeks ago we started this series, and I said it's one of the most important series for every believer in the body of Christ, whether you are a pastor, you are a leader. You are an usher, you are a worship leader, uh, you are a Sunday school teacher, whatever you are in the body of Christ. This is a series that is so crucial for the church in the end time. Because if we are going to make any significant impact, it is important that we understand our place of giving ourselves holy. Our place of giving ourselves holy. Amen. So. We're going to give ourselves holy. We're going to give ourselves holy, not partially. We're giving ourselves how? Holy. Amen. Glory be to God. So we thank God for uh, what he's about to do in your life in the name of Jesus. So Paul said to Timothy, till I come, give attention you know, give attention. Last week, we looked at giving ourselves wholly to seven. And in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47 to 48, tells us the risk of not giving ourselves wholly and not serving God wholeheartedly. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47 and 48 but the Bible said the Lord said the Lord shall cause thine enemies this is what happens when you don't serve God with all your heart it says the Lord shall cause thy enemy that rises up against you to be smitten before Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47 and 48 it says because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things look at what happens it says therefore shall thou save thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger in thirst in nakedness in want of all things and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed you. So not serving God is a risk. That's why we are giving ourselves holy. I am not going to beg you to serve God because your serving of God is to your own advantage, not to my advantage. I am serving God with my entire family. I'm serving God with my whole life. As a matter of fact, my life is laid upon the altar of sacrifice for God. That's why Joshua said in Joshua 24, verse 15, he said, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, 
we will serve the Lord. Who are you serving? Who are you serving? So we have to give ourselves wholly to God. We have to give ourselves wholly to serving. Today we want to look at giving ourselves wholly to prayer. And and the good, the interesting thing is we are in the 40 days of glory. We are in the 40 days of prayer and fasting. So this is a good message to add on to what Pastor Zama taught on Thursday. On Lord, teach us how to pray. So First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17 the Bible says, pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, pray without ceasing. So it's important for us to pray without ceasing. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 8. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 8. It says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting he said i will therefore that men pray where everywhere doing what lifting up holy hands so god wants us to pray everywhere god wants us to pray where Everywhere. Acts chapter 4, verse 31. Acts chapter 4, verse 31. The Bible says that, And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost or with the Holy Spirit. And they spoke the word of God with boldness. So that means prayer releases boldness. And when they had prayed. So prayer is important. Prayer is important. Jesus said men ought to always pray. Luke chapter 10 verse 2. Luke chapter 10 verse 2. So we have to give ourselves wholly in this dispensation to prayer. We have to give ourselves wholly to prayer. What must we pray about? Luke chapter 10 verse 2. Jesus said, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Now I want you to underline this. Jesus said, Pray ye. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he should send forth laborers into his harvest. So Jesus looks around the world and the Bible says that Jesus said the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. But look at the next thing Jesus said. Jesus said, pray ye, pray ye. Don't do anything else. The most important addendum on the agenda is prayer, not planning. Planning is important, but the most important item on the agenda for the harvesting of the world for souls is prayer. If we have to make the desired impact required by God from us as a church, it is important for all of us to increase our prayer life. Amen? Amen. It is important that you increase your prayer life. Because Jesus said, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. So that means in the end time, one of Jesus' desire is to have a church where there will be prayer going on 24-7, where there will be every nationality on the surface of the earth gathered in that prayer meeting. So we must pray ye, the Lord of the harvest. James chapter 5 verse 16 says, The effectual and fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. The effectual, the fervent. James chapter 5 verse 16. The effectual 
and the fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Glory be to God. So prayer is important. The effective, the fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. So that means as a righteous man and as a righteous woman, your prayers makes maximum impact mm. in the kingdom of God. Amen. Every time we lift up holy hands and pray, like the Bible encourages us in First, First Timothy, that we should always pray. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 8, it said, Men ought to always pray, lifting up holy hands wherever we are. So in the bus, it said, lift up holy hands. I desire therefore that men pray everywhere lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting in the train lift up holy hands and pray in the plane lift up holy hands and pray in your house lift up holy hands and pray in your work places in your office lift up holy hands and pray what are we doing we are saturating every geographical location with prayer Men ought to always pray everywhere. Men and women ought to always pray everywhere. As a matter of fact, I believe that by today, some of you, the Holy Spirit will prompt you and you start going on prayer walks Amen. in your area. Amen. That area that is infested with demonic activity, violence is on the high. Just walk around yes. declaring the blood of Amen. Jesus praying over that locality Amen. and I tell you that demonic activities will cease when we came to where the church is we started praying we started praying that the, the power of God and the glory of God will radiate minimum 100 miles away from the church 100 miles and, and not long ago, recently, a statistics came out about the level of crimes in the various localities. And guess what? Where the church is, the number of crime is the less. Amen. So that area became number one. Amen. Number one of less crime. And our desire is that it will become an area where there is completely no crime. Amen. That means you have the power to be able to determine what happens around your area. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says that in, in, in James chapter 5 verse 17, James 5 17, it says uh, uh, Elijah was a man with a nature like yours mm. and he prayed earnestly mm. that it should not rain right. and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. So Elijah was a man just like you who lifted up holy hands and prayed earnestly, prayed passionately, prayed with power, mm. prayed with passion, mm. prayed with tenacity, prayed that it should not rain. He had the keys to control the heavens and the earth. Mm. So that is what happens to men and women who pray. Men and women who pray are given keys to access heaven to determine here on earth what is allowed jesus said whatsoever you allow here on earth will be allowed and whatsoever you disallow here on earth will be disallowed why because jesus said i have given you the keys of the kingdom I've given you the keys of the kingdom and what things soever you bind here on earth shall be bound. Mm. Whatsoever you disallow here on earth shall be disallowed. Whatsoever you permit here on earth will be permitted. So you see you have the power to control what kind of viruses, what kind of sicknesses that are operating in your environment. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, we decree right now the extinguishment of this coronavirus in the name of Jesus, wiped off from the surface of the earth, never to appear again. 
I decree over you, none of you and your family members will die through coronavirus. Amen. I decree right now that you are covered. Amen. I decree that you are protected. Amen. You are immune from every form of virus Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So the Bible says that we ought to pray. Men always ought to pray. We have to give ourselves wholly to prayer. Amen. To pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 17. Pray without ceasing. Glory be to God. Rejoice always, it says. Verse 17, it says, pray without ceasing. We don't stop praying. You wake up in the morning, you pray. You lift up your voice and pray. Let heaven hear your voice on a daily basis. Can I say this? Anytime you step out of your house, without praying that means you are proud and arrogant mm. any day any time you step out of your house going to work without first praying that God should protect you that means you are proud and arrogant that means you think you can take care of yourself so it's important to humble ourselves and pray mm. every negative forces mm. fighting against the supernatural growth of our churches must be pulled down through prayer. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. What you don't like, you don't watch. What you don't like, you don't permit. Mm. Don't allow what you don't want in your life. Mm. Jesus said, only allow what you want. You can disallow because you have the keys. Yeah. You have the power. There are negative forces for your information that are fighting against the full release of your destiny. Amen. And you must not just sit down and do nothing. You must rise up in prayer. Amen. That's why Jesus said in Matthew chapter 17 verse 21, Jesus said, this kind mm. does not come out mm. except through Amen. prayer and fasting. Amen. So there are certain things that doesn't shift until you engage the altar and the mystery of prayer and fasting. Glory be to God. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. So if you don't like what you're seeing, go on a fast. Mm -hmm. Corporately as a church, we're on a 40 day fast. 40 days of glory. 40 days of seeking the face of God. Mm -hmm. Praying like we have never prayed before. Prayer points divided in time zones so that we can pray right and pray corporately. Are you following me? So you can join us. It's not just a prayer uh, call, just a prayer and fasting call just for members of Solution Chapel International Worldwide. We know there are many people from around the world that watch our services who are not members of this church. So you can join us in this 40 days of glory. Go on our website, solutionchapel.org. The prayer points are there. Go there. Get the prayer points. Pray along with us. Change that situation you are going through. Jesus said this kind. Mm. That means that kind, that thing you are going through. Jesus said this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. That means if you don't engage the horn, the altar of prayer, prayer, the mystery of prayer and fasting, that kind that you are going through will never shift. Are you following what I'm saying? So it's time to engage the mystery of prayer and fasting. Give yourself wholly to prayer. Be a Christian who prays. Pray without ceasing. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 18. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 to 18. The Bible says, Finally, my, breth my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. How are you going to be strong in the Lord if you're not praying? Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So be a Christian who is prayerful. Be strong in the Lord. It takes prayer to generate power. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? You can't be a powerful Christian if you are lukewarm, if you are not praying. You wake up every day, all you're thinking about is food. Go and ask Esau. Esau 
misplace his destiny by going after food. So finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor. Not put on half. Put on what? The whole armor of God. Are you following me? It says put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The only way you'll be able to stand against the walls of the devil is to put on what? The whole armor. Not part, not half. Mm. The whole thing. Because the devil that you are going against is a smart devil. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. Mm. Therefore, amen? amen? Verse 12. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. Verse 12 of Ephesians chapter 6. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, mm. against rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Look at what you are fighting against. Verse 12, look at, what, look at the things you are fighting against. It says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. You think what you're going through is a flesh and blood issue? No, it's not your family, it's not your mother, it's not your brother, it's not your relatives. Forget about them. We are wrestling against principalities. Do you know what a principality is? A principality is the highest level of the darkest kingdom of wickedness. You are wrestling against powers. Against rulers of the darkness of this age. Not the next age, but this age. This age. Rulers. Of the darkness of this. And these are the things you are wrestling with. So how do you think that you will be able to defeat these wicked principalities without prayer? How are you going to generate power if you are not on the altar of prayer? It's like having a brand new car and not putting petrol in it. How is the car going to move? <laughs> are you following what I'm saying? You must be a Christian who gives yourself wholly to prayer. Give your entire family. Amen. In this time of the 40 days of glory, gather your whole family to fast and to pray. Because this kind doesn't go out except by prayer and fasting. So the Bible says, Ephesians 6, 12, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness. Spiritual hosts of wickedness. That's their level of wickedness. They are a host. You know host? A host in capitals. So there are a bunch of spiritual hosts of wickedness, wickedness who are fighting against your destiny. Mm. And you are there, don't pray. Mm. Ha, ah, you are a meat for the devil to eat. Mm. It says, therefore, because of this, therefore, take up the whole armor of mm. God Amen. that you may be able to withstand the devil or the evil day. And ha having done all to stand, do what? Stand. Therefore, having gathered your loins, you are gathered your waist with truth. These are the whole armor. You can't win a spiritual warfare if you are telling lies. Don't be a Christian who is always lying. Are you following me? He says, stand therefore having your, your waist gathered with truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Oh, I love this. The breastplate of righteousness. 
Zechariah chapter 3, I want to show you something quickly and we'll come back to this. The importance of the breastplates of righteousness. Zechariah chapter 3 from verse 1 to 5. Let me show you the importance of righteousness in the kingdom of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because listen, if you are not righteous, God cannot hear you. So listen carefully to Zechariah chapter 3 from verse 1. The Bible says, Then he showed me Joshua the high priest, underline that Joshua is a high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to oppose him. So you see, Zechariah the high priest is standing before the angel of the Lord, but Satan is standing at his right hand to oppose him. Do you know why? Verse 2, the Bible says, And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is this not a, a brand plucked from fire? Then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him, saying, saying to Zechariah, Look at what they are going to do to Zechariah, the high priest. It says, Take away the filthy garments from him. So Zechariah is standing before the angel of the Lord, but he had filthy garments on him. That's why it's important to have the breastplate of righteousness. He had filthy garments on him. So they were commanded to take the filthy garments away from him. And he says, see, I have removed your iniquity from you and I'll clothe you with rich ropes and I said let them put a clean turban on his head so they put a clean turban on his head and they put the clothes on him and the angel of the Lord stood by him glory be to God do you see when you are when you are not wearing the breastplate of righteousness the, instead of the angel of the Lord standing on your right hand side mm -hmm. Satan stands on your right hand side resisting your prayers you pray prayer is not answered because you are not wearing the, 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 the breastplate of righteousness mm -hmm. the Bible says that before Esther went on a three days prayer and fasting she has to do what she has to wear her royal apparel the royal apparel represents the breastplate of righteousness. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you following me? So in, in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 13, it says, Wherefore, put on to take the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand. Mm. Stand therefore, having your loins, your waist put on the breastplate of uh, waist with truth having put on the breastplate of righteousness above all the 17 it says and take the helmet the 17 take the helmet of salvation glory be to god take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god so you need all of this. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You need all of this. Amen. Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Glory be to God. Amen. We'll end it in verse 18. So we pray with all prayers with all prayers praying always with all prayers mm. believing god for the next level Amen. don't be happy where you are there is more in store for you so we must give ourselves wholly to prayer second corinthians chapter 4 verse 3 to 6 second corinthians chapter 4 chapter sorry chapter 10 second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 6 it says for though we walk in the flesh 
we do not war according to the flesh. You see, Ephesians tells us we are not warring against flesh and blood. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. It's the same thing being expanded. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. That boss in your office preventing your promotion is not him. There's a spiritual wickedness. There's a demonic dimension to it that is hindering you from flourishing. Have you noticed why some of you have been stuck in the same position for years? Ten years you have been earning the same salary. That's not of God. In the kingdom of God, God allows fruitfulness. God allows us moving forward. God allows increase. God allows progress. Paul said to Timothy, give yourself wholly to these things that your progress may appear to all. So in the kingdom of God, progress is allowed. Other translations said that your profiting may appear to all. Mm. Glory be to God. So though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, mm. oh powerful, are not carnal, but they are mighty in God mm. for the pulling mm. down of strongholds. Man. Every stronghold resisting your destiny it is pulled down today in the name of jesus for the weapons of our warfare what weapons is he talking about the weapons of prayer the weapons of prayer and fasting for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty in god to the pulling down of every stronghold every stronghold that has limited your generation they are pulled down today every stronghold limiting the supernatural expansion of this commission globally they are destroyed today every demonic stronghold resisting your family from moving to the next level they are destroyed today any stronghold that has kept you in captivity that has made you a prisoner of hope right now they are destroyed in the name of jesus for our weapons are not carnal they are mighty in God to the pulling down of every stronghold so don't glorify the stronghold use the use the weapon God has given you is the weapon of prayer go into a time of prayer and fasting release the blood release the missiles that God has given you release the word to destroy those strongholds and begin to see yourself and your family free in the name of Jesus casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ the sixth key verse says and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled Amen. so you can't be walking in disobedience and expecting God to answer your prayers walk in holiness be faithful in prayer serve with all your heart Amen. serve the Lord with gladness Amen. and as you do that then your obedience is fulfilled be a faithful tither don't just take the things of God for granted when your obedience is full when your obedience is full then only God will punish all disobedience against you and anything that fights your destiny is a disobedience are you following what I'm saying so it's time to pray without ceasing prayer must become our lifestyle as a church Prayer must become a life, our lifestyle as individuals. We must be a church that loves to pray. That's why the Bible says, Men ought to what? Always pray. Men always ought to what? Pray. Hallelujah. This is our year of the Holy Spirit. 
And in our year of the Holy Spirit, we must pray. In our year of the Holy Spirit, we must pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. We must pray. Amen. So don't don't take for granted prayer. Prayer is very important. Amen. Amen. Prayer is very important. So why don't we just take some time to pray? Because there's so much to cover, but we are going to pray. The Bible says, let me quickly share with you the effects of prayer and then we'll pray. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4 verse 31 to 33, the Bible says that and when they had pray prayed, the place that they were assembled together was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they spoke the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of, their, of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And with great power, the apostles received, gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Amen. Glory be to Amen. God. And great grace. So, you see, prayer releases great power mm. and great grace. Amen. Write that down. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous releases great power and great grace. Great power and great grace. That's why it's important to pray. It's important to pray. We must pray like never before. Look at Luke chapter 22 from verse 40 to 45. Let's look at finally Jesus Jesus as an example of how he prayed. Mm. Luke chapter 40, sorry, Luke chapter 22 from verse 40 to 45. This was when he was in the garden of Gethsemane. The Bible says that when he came to the place, he said to them, pray that you may not enter into temptation. Yes, it's good to ask people to pray with you, but don't bank your life on them. But the Bible says that, and when he was withdrawn from them about a stone throw, he knelt and prayed. He knelt down and prayed. Mm. That means God only answers those who are humble. Mm. You see, prayer is a sign that you are humble. You believe that only God can answer you. Mm. So he knelt down and prayed and saying, Father, if it is your will, mm. take this cup away from me. That means for any prayer to be answered, it has to be centered in the will of God. Mm. If the prayer is not centered in the will of God, God won't answer it. So Jesus said, Father, if it is in your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Mm. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven and strengthening him. I pray to you today for you that an angel of the Lord will strengthen you wherever Amen. you are. Amen. An angel of the Lord will strengthen you yeah. in your time of weakness. Yeah. You will be strengthened yeah. in the name of Jesus. You, and Jesus being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. See again, the effectual, the earnest prayer of the righteous availeth much. Mm. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. My God, look at Jesus' effect of praying. The Bible says that his prayer, when he prayed earnestly, he was in agony. His sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Have you ever gotten to a point where you have prayed and your sweat is like blood? The Bible says that when he rose up from prayer, and he came to his disciples. He found them sleeping from sorrow. Don't depend on a prophet somewhere you have paid to say, prophet, pray for me. <laughs> they are sleeping. They have taken your cars. They have taken your houses. They are sleeping. You say, prophet, take these two houses and pray for me. That prophet is sleeping. That fake prophet is sleeping. Jesus came to his disciples. He said, pray with me. And when he came back, they were sleeping. 
The man Jesus said he found them sleeping from sorrow. They were sleeping. So you ought to pray for your listen. I cannot eat for you. Are you following me? Amen. I cannot pray for you. Yes, I will, there's a place for me praying for you, but also you have to learn to pray yourself. Mm. On on Thursday, Pastor Zama was teaching on Lord, teach us how to pray. Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. You have to learn to pray yourself. Learn to open your mouth and say, Our Father, because he's your father, he's my father. So why don't we all go to him? We all have the same access to him. You don't have to pay any prophet somewhere to pray for you. Any fake prophet somewhere. And there are a lot of them gallivanting around these days on the internet and everywhere gallivanting from pillar to post costing calling you sending you text messages fake prophecies emailing you sow this seed sow that seed and unfortunately many of you also like deception you like to be lied to that's why these prophets are destroying your marriages they tell you your wife is a witch they tell you your husband is a witch it's time to pray it's time to pray yourself. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory. We have all been called for prayer. To pray on our own. It's time to open your mouth and lift your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray now. Begin to pray wherever you are. We are giving ourselves wholly to prayer. We are giving ourselves wholly to prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't be silent. It's a time of prayer. It's a time of prayer. It's a time of consecration. This is the time God is going to hear your prayers. Open your mouth and pray. We must give ourselves wholly to prayer. Pray, pray, open your mouth and pray. For the next three, five minutes. Ten minutes, we are going to be praying. We are giving ourselves wholly to prayer. Give yourself to prayer. The unchangeable must change today. Pray, pray, open your mouth and pray. Everything that has been stagnant is changing today. Pole kakalabanda. Ne manana manama shandayama. O robo kekele brendelebe. Zebando lobo shekabalaba. Lebranda baba shanda yama Raba baba shika takalabra Lemanda baba ma shanda yalalaba Lemanda ya kata yalabra Jende lebre nelebe lebe lebe Londo no mono mo shende lelebe Le kakato nelelebre shende Lemanda kata yalalaba Aze mene 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 me shanda Le kata kalabro nelebre Le kabando no bro shika kata Pray, pray, pray for this kind Kind, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Lebra Katala Branda Lebresh destroy that stronghold, that family stronghold, every curse ravaging your family. Destroy it now, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Open your mouth and destroy it. Lebra Bakata Kata Letana Matando Lobrosh Kebende Lebe Netata Toki Saba Le Madaram Nashi Kata Kalaba Zima kanto nomro le katanda yaba overflow overflow ne makata yalaba rams of the overflow rams of the overflow don't shut your mouth open your mouth and pray the prayer of the effectual 
prayer of the righteous avail and mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. God is hearing you. Open your mouth and pray. Zebala ka telebre shanda le mana kanto lebre le ka maso ke ke bolo lo bro le ne ne me ne me ne me shende le me le me ne le me ne le banda ya mama shanda ya la la ba le me ne ke tele le me 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 shanda. Give yourself holy to prayer. Give yourself holy to prayer. Some of you, the grace for supplication is coming upon you today. The grace for prayer and supplication is coming upon you. The grace for prayer and supplication is coming upon you today. In the name of Jesus. Pray for favor. Pray for divine favor. Pray for divine favor. Unusual favor, unusual favor, unusual dimensions of favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Libra si katori libre azika ta kato ne ne mre kati ne mama kote ne robo kere na ne mras kere bros kere ne mre skada branda labra ne mre ne ne me lika ka cross kere divine favor, divine favor. Arebanda ya kata ya bra ne masa kata ya laba ne mre skebra ne ababa shana. Pray for unusual miracles, unusual miracles, unusual miracles. Libra ba 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 shene lelebe, le manda kata lelebe shene lelebe, le manda ya ba 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 shanda, le manda kata kata ya la la ba, le ba ma kata lelebe ne, le manda ba 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 shanda ya la la ba, le kabanda ya la la ba, la mrasi kanda ya la la ba, ane me ne me ne me shaka tolobro, le bra ma kata lelebe, le ba. Don't stop, don't stop. Push back the darkness, spiritual wickedness, evil wickedness, principalities come against them in the name of Jesus. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness, principalities. Oh, in high places. Come on, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Nema Sakata Labranda Arira Bronde Lebre Lebra. Mama mama ma shika takala de ne sandolo crush ke branda ne mama ma shanda ama le me ne me shaka tayala laba ande le me shanda ya mama ze banda ya katela laba mande me ne me ne me le me azima katela le me le bre ne le le me shanda le manda baba ba shika la banda le manda ba katela laba le banda baba shika kalabo le brash ka banda ya ba ne manda baba shaka to Nelebe, lebre nebe lebe, shaka bro nelebe, ane me ne me ne me shando lobo, lebra shaka taka la branda, leba shaka taya la laba. Pray for open heavens, open heavens. Open heavens over you and your family. Open heavens. Lebra shika taya la branda. Lebro shake lebe. We declare the heavens open over your life in the name of Jesus. No more limitations. No more restrictions. In the mighty name of Jesus. Na de lebre shanda la ba. Le kata la branda lebre shke baba. Rabon de lebre shke banda la ba. Mo takati ke lebro ne. Tazime ne me kandolo bro. Le banda kat. Taya la la ba ne me ne me ne me shanda le ba ya ba 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 shando yo lo lo bo me kato le bre ne le le be na no no mo shande la la ba ne me ne me shaka taya la la ba le banda ba ba shika taya la la ba mande le le bre shke bre le banda ya mama don't stop don't stop don't stop don't stop continue praying. Continue praying. Le brosh kabranda. Le bamba ya kata ya la la ba. Le bamba ya kate le le bre. Le bamba ba ba shande ya la la ba. Le ba shaka taka la branda. Le ba 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 shoke te le bre. Le bende le le be shando. Le me ne me ne me ne me shaka te ya la la ba. Na de me ne me ne me ne me. Le bamba kata ya le le be. Le bende le le be shande ya la la ba. Ando lo bo shika te ya la la ba. Le branda kate le bre ne. Le ba shika tone. 
menebe nande menebe shandolobo ese banda katele brende lebrash kana makata le manda ya mama pray without season pray without season make a tone lebre three more minutes three more minutes lebrash kata kata ya lalaba nande lebe 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 mondo yoko tolo bro shende ne me kata ya lalaba she kata ya lalaba Zibanto ne kente ne mre shanda ne bende le bele be call for those things which be not as though they were call them forth call them forth call for the blessing in the name of Jesus now begin to open favor begin to open blessing begin begin to open release prosperity prosperity wealth into your life ideas wisdom in the name of Jesus unusual miracles unusual favors uncommon breakthroughs open release them release them upon you release them upon your life release them upon your life release them release them release them release them release them upon your life release them upon your life in the name of Jesus ne kabala bala bala ba le banda ya kata ya laba le banda ya baba ba shakata ya laba le banda ba shakato ni mele mele be le banda ya mama two more minutes two more minutes don't stop praying don't stop praying le ba shakata ya la la ba e kakata nda ya bana ba mando lolo bo shende le le be le banda ya baba shande ya la la ba le banda ya kata ya la la ba le banda ya la la ba heaven will answer you heaven will answer you heaven will answer you heaven will answer you le brash ke kata le mana kata ya le le be le ze mala kata ya la la ba le mana ma she kata ya la la ba ze banda baba she kata ya la la ba ando lo bro she kaka la banda ande mene me Shanda le tata kon telebresh kebe one more minute one more minute yes lose them lose the blessing lose the blessing release generational blessings into your life from today your story is changing your story is changing your story is changing give yourself holy to prayer give yourself holy to prayer pray 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 father we pray we release millions of souls 1 million members 1 million members into solution chapel international daily on our online services in all our in house services 1 million daily oh god across the world we thank you we give you praise let's begin to thank god for answers to our prayers father we thank you for answering our prayers thank him thank him thank him Thank him thank him for answers thank him for favor thank him for breakthrough thank him for blessings thank him for open heavens thank him for the millions for the billions thank him for making you a billionaire thank him for making me a millionaire you are the righteousness of god thank him for generational blessings thank god thank god open your mouth and thank him we thank you lord we thank you lord Father thank you for how far you've brought us. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you Jesus. We love you. You are faithful. In Jesus name. Amen. amen. And amen. Well, we've come to the end of our third service. Let's share the grace May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go from this place with this confidence and assurance, knowing that Christ in you. is the hope of glory. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. The Lord give you peace on every side. Amen. May he cause you to be the head and not the tail. Amen. Go from this place with his confidence and assurance knowing that you are a solution to the nations. We love you. God bless you. Have a glorious day in Jesus name. Amen. Amen.
to break every chain to break every chain to break every chain to break every chain to break to break every chain to break every chain to break every chain can somebody bless the name of the lord put your hands together and bless the name of jesus father god we thank you we thank you for your presence lord god we honor your name jesus thank you lord jesus thank you for the spirit holy spirit we thank you we thank you lord god we thank you lord jesus we thank you we thank you come on show your gratitude if you want to shout shout if you want to clap your hands clap your hands come on come on come on express your gratitude to the lord lord jesus we worship you we worship you lord jesus we are worshiping Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful for all you have done for us. Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful. We are saying thank you, Jesus. It's pretty simple. Say, Oh Lord, we are very, very grateful for all you have done for us. 